Good morning, testies, and what a wonderful Friday morning it's been so far. There was a, a notice of settlement filed yesterday and on February 20th. It is West Coast morning time, so I'm just getting around to it right now. Notice of settlement, document one, two, three. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Montoya. Notice of settlement filed between Crytek and Client Premium Games. As I predicted two weeks ago, this case is done. It is over. And so let's see what's happened because the two parties here are going to settle out of court. Now, we're not going to get any details because it is an out-of-court settlement. But let's read what uh, this document says right here. Plaintiff Crytek and defendants client premium games Robert Space Industries by and through their counsel of record hereby notify the court that they have reached an agreement in principle of terms to settle this action in its entirety and are working to document the terms of their agreement following... The execution of the agreement, the parties will promptly file a joint stipulation of dismissal. The parties respectfully request that the court allow parties uh, 30 days to document and execute the agreement and file the joint stipulation of dismissal. It is over. So what are the details or what is the possible agreement they came to? We can only speculate on that. And as I said in my previous video, we won't know. But... We were guessing, and a lot of you left them really great comments uh, in the comment section of the previous video about why they would do this, is that they most likely want to give Crytek a bit of a lifeline here. They don't want to take all their money. I suspect, and like I mentioned last time, is that you know a lot of the software engineers that work at CIG came from Crytek. And no doubt they still have friends working at Crytek. They don't want to see Crytek suffer and have financial problems. They want to see Crytek succeed or continue to work. And so most likely they're saying, listen, maybe the bond you keep us, but then you can't come to us later. They had to reach some sort of agreement that was favorable to both because if this went to court, the judge would have ruled strongly for CIG. But again, nothing is 100% for certain. And unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, we'll never know the full details of this. So let's take a look at what uh, reactions are on uh, Reddit here to this settlement. Um, oops. Joe B 3000 saying, I bet folks in the, C in the refund sub will immediately assume CIG paid a boatload of money to settle. <laughs> no, they wouldn't have to. If you guys remember the email that Amazon sent, let me pull up my email here. And uh, here it is. So this is what put the final nail in this case. If you recall, the big part of Crytek's argument was that CIG was using the license, but the license was supposed to be used for a single game, not Squadron 42 and Star Citizen. But the GLA said this license covers the game, Squadron 42 and Star Citizen. And it was the wording of it, which Crytek was kind of weasel in and saying, listen, you got to buy two licenses, a license being $2 million extra. But because Amazon bought out the code outright from Crytek, and then CIG uh, is using Lumberyard, they can now use everything that Amazon has. And this email right here is what ended the case. And the email said, we can confirm Amazon did license Lumberyard to CIG in 2016. We included CryEngine, what you licensed to us, Amazon, as part of the license to CIG. CIG is using Lumberyard. Lumberyard contains Crytek and everything they have in the code on there. Therefore, CIG can use everything they like in it. This was the most damning email that could possibly, worst case scenario for Crytek, was this email. And uh, as I assumed that uh, Skadden, the high-powered lawyers, left after they saw this email because there was no case. At this point, Crytek should have given up, and anything after this point was a complete waste of the court's time and their own money. Um, so, yeah, CIG doesn't owe Crytek anything. In fact, Crytek has that bond that probably have to pay CIG, but uh, again, because it's settled out of court, we won't know exactly what happened. And uh, the rest of the comments here just seem to be uh, about the uh, refund subreddit for some reason. But uh, hey, should we dive? Guys, go put on your hazmat suit. We're going to take a dive into the refund subreddit, all right? Uh, as Weasel Bear says, I just went over there first time, brought a lump of cancer. Listen, it's a community, a community of people that come together because they share common interest, right? You can't uh, blame them much, but uh, it is interesting reading. Uh, so let's see what they do say there. So here's the refund subreddit. Hazmat suit on, guys. In we go. Uh, Crytek had no case. CIG was a lock to win. Uh, top voter comment, which is the exact opposite of what everyone in that sub was saying when this case first came out. So I guess they uh, completely turned around on that. Good on you guys for being able to change your mind when the facts change. Gotta respect that. 
What else is interesting here? Uh, can anyone provide layman's version explaining what this means for both companies? Uh, we will never know unless someone goes public with details of a settlement. Correct. It is a settled out of court. Most likely CIG is giving Crytek a bit of money to go away and stop annoying them. No. Uh, if this went to court, uh, Crytek would be paying the bond plus more and uh, basically saying, CIG, we won't bother you anymore. Here's money. Uh, okay, yeah, Pac Pmax Gaming correcting it. Pretty sure, by the way, around based upon the, the fairly recent email from Amazon saying CIG has the rights to all the code. Correct. CIG don't owe uh, Crytek anything. Correct. Well, I guess we'll never know. No. We know. We know. In fact, there it is. Amazon saying, yeah, we gave CIG the code. So we know exactly what, but uh, I guess we'll never know, except we know. Yeah, okay. And uh, there we have it. So I guess end of the saga on that, probably the last video I'll make talking about this case, which uh, I'm not sad about at all. Now we can finally move on and talk about the Carrick, which just was re not released, but is in the game files. And some devs were flying it around. You know, I'm going to make a video on that next. Catch you in the next one.